Hi, I'm Alan Hawes. This is Cypress Academy. Let's get going. In the last lessons, we created the schematic, set the pins, and wrote the firmware for a CapSense LED PSOC 4 BLE project. Now, we'll program it into the board. Okay, it's doing the erasing, then it says program flash. As soon as it finishes, the blue LED starts blinking. The blue LED blinking indicates that the stack has gotten going and inside of the stack event handler, we've turned on the PWM to drive the blinking process in the LED. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to debug your project. We're going to debug it two different ways using two different tools. The first one is the CY Smart BLE dongle. So the first thing I'll do is I'll plug it into my computer. Okay, plugged in, that's cool. Then I'm gonna run the program called CY Smart. All right, there it is. I'll connect to the dongle. It's found the dongle, I've connected to it, and this brings up a screen full of options. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start scanning. This will scan the entire universe of everything that this dongle can hear. The first one I see is called Cap LED. So I'll click on Cap LED and press Connect. When I connect, the light stops blinking on the board and I can then tell the CY Smart utility to uh, read the GAT database. So let's see here. I will do discover all attributes. As soon as that is done, I'll see that I've got a complete screen full of attributes. I can see that I've got the service called the primary service declaration that's got blah, 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 F1. I've got blah, 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 F2. Okay, that's good. The first thing I'll do is I'll enable all notifications, and this will turn on the ability for the CapSense. I can see that when I move to one side, I get lower numbers. When I move to the other side, I get bigger numbers. So now I've shown that the uh, CapSense slider works correctly. I'm gonna try the LED. First, I can click the read value button, and I can see that it's currently zero, zero, which we know is off. See the light is off. So I'll do a write value, and I will write a one, click write value. The LED turns on, that's cool. Okay, so the CapSense works, the CCCD works. I can read and write the LED, all that's good. So I'll put the LED back to zero. Okay, write value, and then I will disconnect from the device, and the blue LED will start blinking again. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the CY Smart application that comes with Android. You can get this from the Google Play Store and it's called CY Smart. So the first thing I'll do is I'll click on CY Smart. I'll have it refresh and it looks around me. Currently, it can see the board called Cap LED. It also sees something else called Charge HR, which is somebody's heart rate monitor that's in this room. All right, so I'll click on the cap LED. As soon as I click on the cap LED, the light stops blinking. Okay, that's good. When I look on the screen, I see the GAT DB, which is the GAT database browser. All right, that's nice. So I click on the GAT database browser. I see unknown service. I click on unknown service and I see there's two characteristics. One of them is blah, 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 F1. The other one is blah, 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 F2. You'll recall that the first one, the one ending in F1, is the red LED. So let's see here. I'll click on the red LED and I'll press the read. It's currently zero, zero. Remember in the previous, just a minute ago, using the PC application, I had written a zero, zero, so that turned the LED off. Now I'm gonna write a zero, one. So I click write, I type one and hit go the red LED turns on, nice. Then I'm gonna write a zero, zero to turn it back off. I click on the zero, zero, goes off, that's good. Now I'll test the CapSense one. So I press on CapSense, that's good. If I do a read, I can see that it's currently FF. FF is no touch, all right, that's cool. Then I click the notify button, which turns on notifications, which remember sends out a broadcast message Anytime that uh, CapSense value has been read, I press on the screen and I get a number that runs from 
uh, 64 hex on one side. 64 hex is also known as 100. You remember I set up the cap sense to go from zero to 100. So on one side of the board, I get 64. On the other side of the board, I get zero. In the middle, I get 32 hex, which is halfway. And if I move my finger up and down the board, I can see it ranges from zero on one side back up to 64 on the other side. So cool, the cap sense is working. I showed it working inside of the PC application. The cap sense is working. I showed it in the CY Smart on the phone, which has got the GAT browser, which lets you look through GAT databases on GAP peripherals. Then I can stop notifications, that turns off. And then if I hit the back button and another back and another back and another back, then I disconnect from the device the blue light starts blinking and everything is good. So we provide CY Smart that comes with the 042 BLE kit. It comes with this dongle. This dongle lets you search around and see all of the BLE devices. It'll let you attach to them and then surf through their database, their GAT database, and read and write and notify and all of the different GAT functions to find out what's going on on the peripheral. We also provide the same software for your Android phone, CY Smart. It's available from the Google Play Store. You can read and write GAT databases. You can attach to different peripherals. You can turn on notifications, etc. That's it. In the next video, I'm going to start telling you about how to build the Android app.